Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a variety of new makeup. We've got a purple theme going on with a lot of the makeup and I did wanna share a special deal from RMS that's going on through the end of February so definitely take a look, tune in and please share your thoughts down below in the comments. I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so I've been a bit under the weather this week with allergies and potentially a cold on top of that. So we're just going to try out some new things together. And this here is the Colfi, uh, this is the Mendy Moment Blush in Lucky Lotus. So it was purple, I couldn't resist. So I ordered this. Right now I have on the Chanel Sublimage Foundation as well as the concealer and that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm gonna bring you in closer. All right, so here is the blush. You can see it is in a squeeze tube type product and we do have a little foil label on there. So let's pull that off. All right, so let's take a look at this texture here. All right, so it's a little bit thicker than I thought it might be at first, but that's actually a good thing. I find that typically the thicker formulas uh, tend to perform a little bit better. Now let's take a look at this actual color here. You can see when spreading this out that we definitely have more of this like ultraviolet, uh, more like fuchsia in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and warm this up a little bit on my hand. And we're gonna do one side with finger and then we'll use a brush on the other. So I'm just gonna tap it on with that and I'm gonna use my, um, what am I using? <laughs> my index finger or my middle finger to kind of tap that out. You can see I'm still like a little out of it. I've been um, not feeling well, then uh, my daughter's been sick as well. She's finally back at school, so. So this is with the finger. Let me go ahead and use a brush. So for the brush, I'm taking the BK Beauty 108, and I'm just gonna kinda dab this in it. I'm kinda like twirling a little bit to make sure it's all over. And then I just dabbed off the excess on the sides. And I will have a review on BK Beauty brushes soon. Um, back around the holidays, they sent me like their main core set. So I have been testing them out and, you know, creating little clips and so forth. So I will have like a video with everything that they sent me uh, coming pretty soon. And yeah, so that's with the brush versus the finger. Let me back you out. All right, so here it is. What do you think about the color? It's definitely more pink with a purple hue to it. I think that's gonna make it work better on a wider variety of skin tones versus a more blue tone purple. Just gonna even this out a little bit with the brush. So this was my foundation brush today, so I'm just gonna kind of tap over just to kind of soften the edges and just soften the look overall. And this is the Jumbo Base from Sonia G which is part of her Fusion series, so it's a blend of undyed go hair and synthetic. All right, so there it is to say I like it. Another new purple item. This is Danessa Myrick's The Vision Flush Glow, and I do have like her original like Vision Flush formula in the shade Tiara. This is like supposed to be more intense glow and it's new. They came out with some new shades. This one here is Femme, which looked to be like a holographic lavender. You can see it's wrapped in plastic, which uh, is apparently very difficult for me to get off today. <laughs> All right, so here it is. You can see I took off most of the blush there. So let's go ahead and let's put it right here on the hammer. It's Definitely no blush was there before. Look at that. You can see there's a little pink, gold, green, a little bit of lavender, but it's honestly more pink than I expected it to be. Uh, so it's, again, more of a pinky purple, but I'd still say more pink than purple. But you can see a little bit of gold and green and like opalescent white in there as well. And let me bring you in closer. All right, so here's the swatch up close. See the color shift? All right, let's go ahead and dab a little bit of this on as highlight today. And I'm just wiping the, I wiped the wand off a little bit and just gonna dab it. I don't, I think I might have wiped that off too much. I'm gonna go ahead and get some on my finger then instead. 
All right, so let's go ahead and dab that on. All right, so this side has the highlight. This side doesn't. Can you tell the difference? Let's go ahead and add it over here. Can't actually see what I'm doing right now, so hopefully that <laughs> ended up turning out okay. All right, so we're gonna move on to eyes. We're sticking with the lavender theme. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the Vizier eye primer on my lids first. And I'm just gonna add a little bit. This is the Gucci powder in 00. And I'm using the Sunyuji Mini Cheek. I'm just gonna, you know, lightly dust my lids with that first. I typically add my primers all in the very beginning, but I'm just a little out of sorts still. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you the Charlotte Tilbury Hypnotizing Pop Shot. And one thing I wanted to note, these, by the way, are limited edition. She came out with two new shades. There's a pink and then this ultraviolet purple. Notice the gems on here are all going to be purple. Okay, so there's like a slightly deeper one and a slightly lighter one, but they're all going to be lavender. Okay, so here it is up close, whereas the holiday one is actually multicolored. So there is a slight difference there between this new one versus the holiday shades. All of the holiday shades were multicolor, and they were limited edition as well. So let's take a look at this one. Just like the holiday shades, these are a 12 gram product with a two year shelf life, and these are made in Italy. So here is the ultraviolet shade. Look at that. So you can see it's a really pretty, kind of a pink hued lavender, but there's a little bit of a blue shimmer there as well. We do have a mirror at the top. Let me go ahead and show you this swatch here. And you can see it's kind of like a creamy powdery texture. And let's go ahead and put that right there. Look at that. Very beautiful. So let's go ahead and try this on the eyes. Taking the Sonia G Worker 3, and we're going to go ahead and just put this kind of all over the lid, going softly with the brush at first. And then on, I also want to try it like wet. So we're going to do one side dry, one side wet. All right, so looking very pretty so far. Let's build up the mobile lid a little bit with the brush. Beautiful. So I'm going to do a soft layer with the brush on the other side, and then we'll do the mobile lid wet. All right, so I just dampened my brush with some water, and actually like jasmine water, but we're gonna go ahead and just put that on the mobile lid, see if it gets a little bit more impactful or see if it does anything to the, the shimmer. To say, I feel like I'm seeing more of the blue in the wet application. Like, doesn't this look a bit more iridescent than the dry? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely see more blue in the wet application. And honestly, I, I like it better that way. So here is dry versus wet. Let me know which one you guys like better. I'm just going to add some eyeliner and mascara. I'll be right back. All right, so I added the Chantecaille Eyeliner in Earth and just kind of smudged that out a little bit. I'm taking the Sonia G smudger one and I'm just gonna get a little bit of the femme highlighter from Danessa Myricks. We're gonna put that on the inner corner. So let's go ahead and just dab that on there. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's definitely more pink. You can see even right up next to the Charlotte Tilbury, it's definitely more pink. All right, so these are the eyes. Again, dry versus wet. And I think I just wanna make them a little bit more even by 
making this one wet now. So I just wanted to show you one last time. Mascara, I used the blue mascara from Pat McGrath. I still really like that one. And I think it balances the pink tones in the purple shadow very well as well. All right, so this is our look so far. And as much as I would love to continue with the purple theme, I do wanna share something else with you. So I've been using the RMS lip lights. I ordered a couple of them when they first came out a couple weeks ago, and I really liked the formula. So I ended up ordering the rest of them when they had this great deal. And the deal's ending soon, so that's why I really wanted to show, share this with you today. So this is a $50 lip kit from RMS Beauty. If you spend $75 on their website, then you get this for free right now until the end of the month, or I think if supplies run out before that. But it is currently available right now, and it's called the Dressed Up Red Edit. And I had to grab this because there is, you know, there are some things in here that you can't get anywhere else. So you get another RMS lip lights. Now this shade is not in the ones that are available to purchase individually. This, I've only seen this in the set. You get a sharpener, you get a lip pencil, which I've never tried one of their lip pencils. So you can see you've got an angled brush on one end and the pencil on one end. And then you also get one of these. So if you're not familiar with these, uh, these work on both their lip lights and the um, cream shadows, the eye lights, which I have a couple of those that I really like as well. But after you've used this for a while and you know it's you don't have as much product, you're trying to squeeze it out, this is the little, it's just a little sleeve you put on here and you, I'm sure you guys have seen these for toothpaste and so forth. You just slide it down and it helps kind of scrape out everything that's in there. And then these tubes are recyclable. So I'm going to go ahead and share some lip swatches and everything with you for these right now while I go over a few details and then, uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. So the lip lights retail for 28 US dollars. And again, the lip kit is worth $50, but you can get it uh, with a $75 purchase. You can't buy it separately. This is in celebration of Rosemary Swift's birthday. Uh, I believe it's her birthday. So, uh, you know, it's just kind of a special addition here. Now, according to RMS Beauty, these lip lights offer 24-hour hydration and repair. They're multitasking, non-sticky, dewy gloss. They hydrate, volumize, and add shine. So they're a three-in-one product. Those three-in-one parts, they are counting as a treatment balm, a sophisticated gloss, and a subtle stingless volumizer. Now I have to say, I don't notice any sort of mint or tingly sensation on my lips using these. Honestly, these feel like a reparative lip butter. So they're kind of like this thicker texture on your lips, like a thick, creamy texture that kind of melts in a little bit with your body heat. It's very, very comfortable. I find them to be hydrating and moisturizing, so I really like these. You can definitely shear them out. You can build them up to be a little bit more pigmented, but they're really nice. So these lip lights, they have plumping peptides, soothing botanical butters, and they are recyclable. So you have a one-year shelf life on these. They are made in Canada, and you have nine grams of product. So let's go ahead and do a few arm swatches as well. So first up, this is the Charlotte Tilbury again. We're gonna go with the lightest shade here. This one is called Bear. And let me just show you, you know, it takes a little pressure to squeeze this up. And this is our texture of it. Let me go ahead and just spread this out here. Now Bear is gonna be your light. It's translucent, but it's actually gonna be a soft pink shade. And this one is a pH adjusting shade. So just something to note, but this, this is bare. And it does not get like, a lot of times the pH adjusting shades turn like a bright pink on, on your lips. This one does not for me. It always stays kind of this soft, gentle pink. So this is bare. Next we have Crush. Look at that. So this is kind of like a peachy nude shade. It's a little bit more nude than peach. There's a little bit more brown in there, but it's like, it's really beautiful. I really like this one. Here we have Rumor, which is a bit more of a 
nude mauve kind of shade. So there's a little bit more mauve in here. It's going to be cooler in tone than Crush. But again, you can see you still have a little bit more of that brownish base to it. Uh, both of these look really beautiful on the lips, in my opinion. Next up, we have Bizu. And this is a bit more of a uh, terracotta caramel. So if you've ever made caramel when it's kind of that brighter caramel shade before it really browns, uh, this is kind of the color you get. There's a little bit more orange in here, and it's like a soft terracotta. Next up, we have Rhythm, and you can see this is going to be a really pretty berry that leans a little burgundy, so really beautiful. Got some red tones in there, and I have to say, I love the texture of these. I originally only purchased two of these uh, to start off with because I'm not huge on lip products in these like painter's tubes that you have to kind of like use your finger or brush for. Uh, but the formula won me over. So I like the formula so much that I got over that. <laughs> so you can see this one here is Rhapsody, and this is going to be more of a cocoa shade. This is going to be a warm tone cocoa, though. You can see there's a little bit of kind of this like golden hue in there. So this will be a warm tone, um, you know, warm tone brown here. And last up, we have Babette. This is the shade in the lip kit. So this is kind of your red. This is like an orangey fiery red. So it's gonna be a warm tone red. So these are all of them. And yeah, I love the textures. So I do wanna try out the lip pencil. So let's go ahead, let's do the lip pencil and then I'm gonna use actually Rhythm though with this look today. I think Rhythm or I don't know. Let's start with the lip pencil. So this lip pencil is actually cooler in tone than the Babette lip. Uh, so I think maybe I'll just leave it with this and then go in with some bare. All right, so here it is. Let me know what you guys think. And let's go ahead and talk about these products today. So let's work our way backwards. Let's start off with the uh, lip pencil. And I have to say, this is... You know, it's creamy for a pencil that you sharpen on your own. You know, it's uh, it's creamy, yet there's still that stiffness, that precision there that I personally love from the ones that you sharpen. So this is really more of a neutral red. There's a little bit of a blue undertone in here, but not much. So it's pretty neutral red. As for the RMS lip lights, I have to say I really love these. These really feel more like a lip butter versus like a lip gloss or anything. They definitely give you great shine. I've been wearing them a lot and um, yeah, I think they're great. Moving on to the, let's, let's go with the Charlotte Tilbury. I did want to take a look at this shade here from the Viseart Violette palette and just see how that compares. You can see, you know, between the two, let me add another swatch of the Charlotte Tilbury there, but the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more blue and the the blue iridescence isn't quite as noticeable as it is in the via, the Viseart, in my opinion. So they're both great. I think they're, you know, they're obviously pretty different, but they are close enough that if you missed out on the Charlotte Tilbury, because again, that's limited edition, I don't know if they'll restock or not, but that's like probably the best option out of what I have in my collection. So I did want to share that with you. And as for the Danessa Myricks, you know, I, I like this. I think this is nice. I'll see how everything holds up. And the Colfi blush, again, you know, again, a really nice blush. So the Colfi, let me just go ahead and swatch that one more time. I like the consistency of this. I like how it's got a little bit more pink in there, which I think works better on you know, as blush. And yeah, it's a nice formula. So I'll definitely leave a note as to how this performs or holds up over the day. It has been seven, seven and a half hours since I applied everything. I just wanted to show you how everything has performed. Again, my allergies are pretty bad, so I've been blowing my nose a lot and so forth, but I haven't touched cheek or eye area. And let me bring you in closer.
All right, so take a look at the eyes. You can see that the shadow has shifted, so I definitely have a higher concentration along the lash line than I do along the rest of the lid. I don't really see it necessarily creasing, but it just seems to have all kind of disappeared <laughs> in areas. And then here's a real close-up of the cheeks and the highlight. Let me bring you out a little bit more. So here are the cheeks and the highlight. I do feel like I can see both the blush and the highlight there. It does seem maybe not quite as defined as it did earlier. So I'm not sure how well the blushes would hold up during like a really hot, sweaty summer day kind of thing. But I think for the most part, they're gonna hold up more like your average cream blush, not as not as well as something like the Clay de Peau cream blush, but maybe more like your Tower 28, you know, something along, it's actually a similar price point to these as well. So I think uh, longevity on those is gonna be comparable. The highlight though is definitely still present. And based on the previous or the original formula of the Janessa Myricks, that's gonna last on me like all day. So uh, I have no doubt that'll continue to shine. And I did remove the lips on my own. So I wiped that off uh, when I was eating. So that's it. Okay. And let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know your thoughts. Please share down below in the comments. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.